Hi, uh, David Erdos with poem two from the Bastards Charter. Uh, with a sequence bearing that title, it seems important to write about some bastards. Um, there was certainly uh, two mentioned in the previous poem, uh, and I wrote a sequence of uh, three today following a Netflix documentary. So this is a kind of TV column to the magazine that is unfolding before your eyes. Robert Maxwell had beautiful eyes. Robert Maxwell's eyes said it all, vulnerable, seductive, yet frightened, aspects parodied by his body. So let me state that I refer just to his eyes, not the brows, which serve to pantomime that full face grown over his past's starved desperation, which must have first fueled, then propelled him to break hearts like biscuit before his sour consumption of vows. He felt the world owed him so much he had the right to reclaim it. For what the Holocaust swallowed, he tried to match with his girth, which crowded the space that only survivors inhabit, so that larger than life, obese living off the fat of the land, garnered worth. There is a last film of him at a desert monument to his village. This after the foul pension scandal, where, as an old man himself, his gaze drains, and captained his vessel emptying before the boat loses bounty, and the sea soothing troubles sought to swallow the bloated boy's final pain. I make no excuse for this stealer of souls and savings, but simply point out the process of those who accrue but soon lose any gift, gain or grace that they may extricate from the cosmos, whose vast karma palms them before flicking them back to the ooze from which we all crawl. A sticky with sin, say the Catholics, or primed to atone which he didn't in direct line with the Jews for whom he did little good, what with his rapacious hunger for money. But is it not strange that misshapen and big as he was, the whole loomed right there at his core, and this is the portal he was pushed through, by either hand or intention, or what gravity does in the gloom, leaving the spume and a whale-spun foam others drowned in, such as sons Kevin and Ian, and presently his Ghislaine, who sought someone else, once starved of his shadow, in having no new light cast across her or her father's hand, she took girls so much younger than she, when she herself had been guided into the plastic world her dad moulded. With its false transparency cracked, she wrenched curls for perhaps her own form of revenge and privileged, addled impulse exacting spite through control while distorting her dad's tragic bluff on business through blame as it sank beneath hell's hot surface and where above and below they both bubble with his monstrously made daughter surrounded by screaming captain bob's eyes must be crying for the loss of light and the virtue which produces truth's profit and copyrights loves Last bluff. David Erdos, April the 16th, 2022.